News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, the Bounty Hunter holds an anniversary party. Free airplane rides are being held Saturday morning. A world-famous archer performed at the Fall Festival. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Courtney Salmon. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Thursday, October 8, 2015. I'm Courtney Solman for News 46. Valley Electric Association is inviting community members to attend a ribbon cutting ceremony to commemorate the launch of its optical fiber broadband communication service. The event will be held at 1.30 on Wednesday, October 14th at the Pahrump Community Library, which is the first facility to receive services through VEA's Advanced Optical Fiber Network. Wednesday's event will include comments from VEA leaders, Nevada Assemblyman James Oscarson, and Pahrump Community Library Director Susan Wonderly. It will also include a special video message from Senator Harry Reid. The event will be held at 1.30 once again next Wednesday at the library on East Street. Nevada Democratic Senator Harry Reid is suing the company that made an exercise band that may leave him permanently blind in one eye. Reid was using the flexible exercise band on New Year's Day when he says it slipped from his hand, causing him to fall and suffer eye, face and rib injuries. Following the injuries, Reid announced he would step down at the end of his current term. The lawsuit is seeking $50,000 in damages from Hygienic Intangible Property Holding Company, the maker of the band. The suit claims negligence, liability, and failure to warn consumers of possible dangers. The Experimental Aircraft Association is having their free airplane rides this Saturday. It's called the Young Eagles event, and what it's doing is trying to promote flying to the very young people. They have a program where all the chapters will take children from eight years old up uh, to through 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as they bring a parent or a guardian with them, uh, we'll sign them up, we'll get, register them, we'll get them out with a pilot to give an orientation to them with the other uh, kids at that particular time or that particular aircraft. Uh, after that, they'll place them in the aircraft, they'll fly them around Pahrump, mm -hmm. show them what a big city really looks like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, bring them back in. After the landing, the pilot plus the children will go on over to the other registration. They'll fill out a official, a real uh, log book. That time is theirs. It's signed over by the pilot, then what they'll do is when they get home in the next, you know, several days or something, go online and uh, there's, a, there's a website address on the uh, certificate. They'll take a small question and answer um, test and then what will happen at the last, it'll give them a certificate to print out. This certificate is good at any uh, instructional flying facility. This is US wide at any of the airports that have certified flight instructors and aircraft that will entitle them to one hour of actual flying time plus ground school. Wow. And that gets logged into their log book. Wow. It's not a toy, this is a real log book. And it doesn't cost anything. This is strictly uh, donated by
by the Experimental Aircraft Association National. So everybody's invited. What time um, is the event going to be happening? Well, would ask them uh, to uh, be there between uh, eight, a little bit early. If you want to just wait around a little bit, all the way up. The last flights will be taking off at 12 noon. More than likely, about uh, 20 till noon, we'll be cutting off the registration so we can get all of them uh, done. Right. Once again, the ages that are allowed to go? Between the age of 8 mm -hmm. and all through 17. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 